What's up, everybody? Hope all is well. I'm just checking in with you. Um, I know I promised you a video, uh, maybe to get in lieu of the individual meetings, considering that you guys are pretty much asking the same things. And I probably should have just went ahead and said, let's come to class. Uh, if I could knock it out. Um, but I, I scheduled a dental appointment, too, uh, at, at 2 o'clock. And I got sick yesterday. I don't know what was going on. But anyway, uh, I'm here in the office um, just thinking about uh, your project. And so, you know, ultimately, this is it, right? This is going to be the final piece of writing that you offer me for the semester. Um, and what I needed to be as, as thorough as possible. I needed to represent the best of what you can do and create creatively as well as structurally, right? That doesn't mean to say, I need you to think hard, think deeper, you know, don't give up, right? I know some of you, you know, you all aren't philosophy majors. I get that, but I, but I need you to press down a little bit. You know, why is Bailey having us think about that? What are we what have we been reading that makes those connections? And what do I need to get a little bit more homework done um, to sort of complete this thing, right? <clears throat> so the reading that you're going to do next, the final kind of reading in a uh, um, um, homework assignment uh, deals with the idea of God, right? And so one of the things that we think about uh, on the nature of God, we think about uh, the idea of the universe and God as being a sort of a creator of the universe, right? We think about um, uh, there's this uh, theory called cosmology, right? Or cosmo cosmologists who argue that science kind of creates God, but then maybe there would I mean, I mean, science kind of creates the universe, right? And or understands that science doesn't create the universe, but we understand the creation of the universe through science. Excuse me. Um, and so whether it's Big Bang, whether it's chaos, right, what we talk about, um, or whether it's design, right? And so for right now, I want you to think about, for, for, for a few seconds, I want to think about design. What if there is an intelligent designer? Call that designer God. And consider that the sort of the current state of the universe is an effect of a previous state of the universe. And the current state is also the cause of that which would follow. Right? So the current state is an effect of the previous state. And the current state is the cause of the next state of the universe. Right? And imagine there's this intelligent designer that at any given time, any given instant, could would understand all the forces of nature, all the movements, all the molecules and atoms, and, all, and the spirit and the force of all the individual respective situations that beings, human beings and animals and everybody that make up the world, that intelligent designer understands all of how it works. That intelligent designer has to be uber intelligent, right? But that intelligence would be vast enough that in in that designer's mind, that if they were able to sort of see the data themselves, it would encompass all the movements and all the interactions of the greatest, the most august of the bodies of the universe. And also all the small ones, all the little things. For to this God, to this intelligence, to this designer, nothing would be uncertain. It would all make sense. It would all be in plan. The future, like the past, would be understood in the eyes, minds, and conception of this designer. In retrospect, we might call that determinism. But we think about this movie, The Butterfly Effect, it's what? The little things. Maybe a small thing can make great impact of our entire life. 
cause effect. Because we know our lives are a system of interrelated activities and events. And this caused that. I woke up, I did this, I did that. This, All this stuff interrelated. And one of the things is that, 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 that this movie wants us to think about is the best of our future, maybe, <laughs> is preceded by the behavior, possibly good behavior of our past. And the faulty beginning, a bad beginning, might lead to bad results as well. If this is true, if good behavior yields, good decisions and good behavior in the beginning yields good results in the future. If bad behavior and bad decisions in the beginning results in bad things in the end. That's what these writers want us to think about in The Butterfly Flick. Those writers, uh, Bress and, um, was that Mackay or, what was his name? Graber, Gruber, Gruber. These right, you know, the same writers who wrote The Final Destination. So if you watch that, you got to know what you got into, right? But this movie is kind of about chaos theory. It's about all of life. It's kind of described by the human behavior in this movie. And you, hopefully by now you have saw the adage or researched the adage of what the butterfly effect means, right? Which is, in essence, a small butterfly on one part of the world blows its wings and it causes a hurricane in another part of the world. And intellectually, that makes no sense. But the way in which everything is interconnected to small events have big consequences, paper topic, or do they not? You know, the interesting thing about this movie is that You can make plans. You can try to figure it out. But you can't make the effect. You can't make the result. And it took a while to get there, right? It took a while to understand that by the time you got to the end. But because there's so much kind of going forward and backwards and, you know, twists of fate and all that kind of stuff, right? So I know... Y'all probably was like, hey, go Bailey with these movies again. So what do you need to do? Let's cut through the chase. You need to research, get to know what chaos theory is. Right? Do your little research with that. And I think your papers could revolve around, again, if you think you have an idea on your own, disregard what I'm about to say. But in case you just don't know what to write on, here are a couple of things that I that I would have told you if you sat in my office and said, I don't know what to write on. Compare and contrast the sliding doors and a butterfly effect. How about that as a paper? Sliding doors and a butterfly effect. So that means you gotta go back and watch sliding doors again, and you need to make sure you watch the butterfly effect at least two times. Right. This paper will compare uh, the philosophical things found in the butterfly effect and sliding doors as it relates to issues of determinism and fate right. and, and free will. Right. Or maybe you do a paper on on the nature of memory and who we are, identity. I know we do any identity thing with the papers. Some of you are doing it with the papers you, 
you turning in today, I think, or tomorrow. But maybe you do a paper on memory and identity. So you take a little bit about this movie, you do your own little research, and then you kind of pull together this short paper. Four pages-ish, 1,000 words, 1,200 words. Or maybe you're creative. Maybe you get the movie. And maybe you're creative. And I, somehow, I sometimes like this example, and especially with this movie. Because this movie, uh, at least according to you know some of the reports of the movie back when it came out, the directors in them had three other or two other alternative endings that they filmed. And they finally went to the one that, they, that you saw. How about a paper on if you were writing the film, how might you change the ending of the film? That should be creative and fun, right? But you got to keep the class in mind. I don't just go out thinking you're Steven Spielberg or, or Bruder and them. You're not them. But think about the course. Think about the ideas and themes. How might you change the ending? That's three ideas. I mean, you know, you can kind of go with that if you like. You know, I don't know. Something to think about. Right? But I think it's a fun movie. I think it's a, it's a thoughtful movie, and hopefully you all found it that way. All right? So that's about our 15-minute in-office talk. So uh, hope this helps. Certainly you can call me on your as you write. Um, next Tuesday, I, I'll be I'll be here. So, um, you know, oh, uh, let's connect, reconvene if you like. Um, but from now on, you're kind of on your own. I'm here as to kind of just facilitate your ideas as we kind of wrap up the semester. So this paper, um, as well as the does God exist stuff. All right. God bless y'all. Be safe. Take care. Stay strong.